What's going on everybody? It's Caleb here from the Game Glyph. And this is more of like a channel update to let you guys kind of know what's going on. Lately, uh, I've been working a lot and I've been making content. Uh, kind of getting back to some of the old formula of just uploading game content as I can. I, I like to do that. I like to archive games that I really like and I like to just talk about games. Sometimes lately I've been posting these videos where I'm just basically playing a game for like five or six minutes and just kind of talking about it. It's not a review, it's not a let's play, it's just like a, a talk about. <laughs> I think I've done that. This is kind of more like a... Because I hate to categorize things, but people seem like they, they need that to be done and they need to always always do that. Which is uh, which is cool. Like I guess that's, that, that's part of the community. <laughs> but uh, I just like to, to do stuff and make content as I feel like it at no uh, express reason or for no express reason other than just that I like to make content and like right now I'm playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night on PlayStation 1 this is and always will be one of my favorite games ever made uh, it's a hard game to play while kind of vlogging or talking like what I'm doing right now but uh, it's definitely easily in my top three favorite games ever made Probably, probably my top. It's the game I've played the most. Um, but you wouldn't be able to tell by watching this playthrough. <laughs> I'm using this other controller that's not, uh, it's not a bad controller. It's actually a really good controller, but it's not, it's not my favorite controller to use for this game. My favorite controller to use for Castlevania Symphony of the Night will always be the OG PlayStation 1 controller. Uh, the D-pad, the digital controller, not the analog, not the revision, none of that crap, none of that fancy crap. I just like that OG uh, digital PlayStation controller. It's light, does the job, it's perfect. That's what I like. Hope the levels are okay in this video. I'm, I'm really working towards that. I'm developing new ways to capture uh, not only my beautiful face for all of you fantastic people that have tuned in but also the gameplay at some decent level of quality I'm hoping that this will portray that because I am using um, OBS to do I mean basically everything of course so this is kind of like a, a channel update and a if you will an experiment <laughs> to see if this even works I can already tell that I need to uh, improve my frame rate. Honestly, I have a lot of questions. I wish, really, I had somebody that was near the Sacramento area that could help me <laughs> set all this kind of stuff up a little bit better and I could just focus on making content. That's ideally what I want to do, is just make content. But isn't that the dream? Just, to just do what you want to do. My god, this game to me is just so perfect and relaxing. It's almost therapeutic. Can't believe I let the little skeleton get the best of me. He's throwing them bones. I hope the music is not too loud over the commentary. My insightful, my insightful commentary. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, you know what's exciting? Speaking of Castlevania. And to stay on subject here, the new season of Castlevania was announced, or the new, uh, yeah, the new season of Castlevania. I'm very excited. The original, the original was great. They uh, they do a lot now to really make you want to sympathize for Dracula. I I don't really want to always sympathize with the bad guys and always want to blur the the edges of who the good guys and the bad guys are. I think that Alucard already kind of does that, being just the son of Dracula. His name is literally Dracula backwards. Dracula backwards is Alucard. I think Alucard is the coolest Castlevania protagonist. That's my opinion. He's my favorite character. He was done really well. So is Trevor. Um, my favorite Belmont is Richter Belmont. I, I don't know why. I just think he's so cool. He's got the bandana. He's got the blue outfit. He just seems like such a badass good guy. I just really... My love for uh, for a Richter. They need to make a really good like arc system. Like the people that made uh, Guilty Gear should make uh, a Castlevania sprite-based fighting game. 
that's what everybody really wants. This guy is such a little punk. Ah. Whee. Oh, he's mad now. Kind of let that happen. You don't belong in this world. The hype is real. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Can you believe this game has never come out for Nintendo Switch? I mean, it's literally on like every system. It's on every phone. I have this game on iOS and Android. And on PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 4 network. PlayStation 1. I mean, this is... This is the one. This is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Um, if you guys don't know, this game came out like at a time where nobody wanted a 2D game. I actually don't want to go down there right now. <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. You know, nobody wanted this game when it came out. So when it first came out, believe it or not, this game didn't get nothing but good reviews. It actually got some bad reviews, too. Some people didn't understand it. They didn't want it. They wanted a 3D game. Uh, you know, they were more excited about the 3D Castlevania games on Nintendo 64, which in hindsight is kind of ironic because those games, I mean, let's face it, they, they suck. Those games suck. I, I like them. I like anything that's kind of spooky, and I like anything that's Castlevania. Castlevania is my favorite video game franchise, but <laughs> out of all the Castlevania games, the ones on N64 are definitely not the best. I literally put them in the same category as the ones on Game Boy. As in Castlevania Adventures. Those games are just not that fun for me. I mean, I've played some really bad Castlevania games. I played Order of Shadows, which was like a cell phone game that came out like a long time ago. I remember just being so excited that I could even play that, because that's when I was really into the ones that came out on the Game Boy Advance and the Nintendo DS, which are really some of the best, which were just more or less a continuation of this style of game. That IGA, the almighty developer of the game I have uh, complained about the most, or at least the most attention, uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Which, I will say in this video, I do love that game. I just hate the Nintendo Switch version of it. And, and that's the version of it that I want to like the most because it's the portable version. I should bust out the PS4 version and talk about it. Because I have put a lot of time into it, and I have played it quite a bit, and it is really good. <laughs> it is great. There are still things I don't like about it. I still don't like the overall art direction of the game. Not not the if you stripped away all the added crap, but the 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 Victorian element of the game, the Gothic element, is beautiful. But they added so much fan service to the point where it really took away from the ability to immerse yourself. And, in any kind of consistent world that they never were able to really portray. I'm just being honest. I mean, look at this game. I mean, buddy, you made the perfect game. This game, every scene, every screen is like intentional, makes sense, beautiful. Lighting, music, perfect. Perfect game. Castlevania Symphony Night. I've played it a lot on my channel. I used to um, play this game on my phone and stream be playing it on my phone just just to do it just because you can which is crazy that technology is to that point now but let's face it nobody wants to play a game on their phone wait a moment you seem human and yet what do you hear i've come to destroy this castle then we have the same purpose i'll trust you for now i'm maria who are you Alucard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again, if you live that long. Farewell. My, isn't she a saucy one? <laughs> Get them hurts. This game has a tremendous amount of uh, atmosphere and personality, which is, to no surprise, it's, it's a Castlevania game. The original Castlevania on the Nintendo had that. 
I believe it or not have never done like a top 10 Castlevania video. In fact, I don't even do enough Castlevania related content on my channel. I, that, that is something that I should change. I just started playing Curse of Darkness. That's the 3D one that everybody tells me is really good. I, I just started playing it. I, I, I mean, I'm only like maybe, okay, I'm 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the game. And so far, it's okay. It's okay. It's definitely, um, I like the main character more than Lament of Innocence. That character, I didn't dislike. I just, I don't have to play as a Belmont in a Castlevania game. In fact, I would prefer not to. I would prefer to play as Alucard. So I'm not like a stickler. And I certainly don't give a crap about the whip. That is my least favorite weapon of all time. I mean, seriously. I mean, that sounds like sacrilege for a Castlevania guy, but... I don't care about the whip. I'd rather use a sword any day over a whip. I mean, that is just... Whips are just not my vibe in general. Um, they, uh... They're, I mean, I like how they implement the vampire slayer element of it all. Um, I think that's cool. It's very unique. Like, nobody quite has the take on Castle on uh, Dracula and vampires that Castlevania does. They even incorporate... Um, like other, you know, movie monsters like Frankenstein and the Mummy and stuff like that into it somehow, which is like really awesome how they implement that. It's done really well. I mean, I, I love it. I love it, obviously. This is a beautiful, uh, beautiful part of the game, the Marble Gallery. Look at this character. There's her butt cheeks. I remember when I was really young playing this game, I mean, like less than 20, being like, ooh, wow, there was. There was some cake in this Castlevania game, and I didn't really, didn't really notice. But by Job, I did now. It's kind of weird. Like, why are their butt cheeks like right there? Did that plant creature like consume her up to that point, or does she have human organs to that point, and therefore does she poop out of that part of her butt? I have so many questions, and they're not really important. But let me know in the comments. You know, like below, what what you you guys think? That distracted me so much I couldn't even pull off my magic attack. <laughs> which doing this attack when you hold up after you do the magic, which is um, up, down to forward, it's like up, 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 and then reuse fireball. Um, that's pretty much one of the most powerful attacks you can get early on in the game after you're stripped by death of many of your wonderful items that you start out with. Oh man, I don't have a shield. Here. I can't believe I've actually made it this far and I haven't had a shield drop in some of the loot. Well, that's quite something, isn't it? Isn't it? I love making this kind of content. I would stream more. I mean, streaming makes more sense when you're doing playthroughs of games, but two problems with that. I don't actually have a comprehensive way to even plug a network cable into this computer to make it to where it would stream with enough fidelity to be really watchable. I've, I tried the other night, I did like a Legacy of Kane, Blood Omen Legacy of Kane stream, and I was really wanting to do it, but in my opinion it did not work out very well because the fidelity of the stream or the, you know, it was just a lot of latency, it was just, just crap. Oh man, I know a boss fight's about to come up. I'm probably gonna die. This one's tricky to do um, while playing. I mean, while talking. <laughs> Maybe I should shut up. But I think I can save. Normally, um, I would go to these save points, and that's that's when I would I would stop the stream or stop the uh, the let's play. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to beat this. I'm gonna try to beat this boss. <laughs> And if I don't, I'm going to be pretty embarrassed because I used to be just really, really good at this game. Um, and I'm very low level. Like I said, I don't even have a shield. That's, hang on, let me make sure I don't have a shield. Do I have a shield? Oh, thank God. I do have a shield. Okay, I was just being a big dumb dumb. And I have a turkey. I have a neutron bomb. Okay, okay. I might be able to do something if, if, if all else fails. I'm not one of those people that will hoard items. I just, I don't know. I don't find that to be a fun way to play a game. I mean, some games you kind of have to, like Resident Evil. And you probably should in this game. But we'll see. This is where you fight your doppelganger. Doppelganger by Trolls. Check out that song. Shameless plug.
He's gonna he's gonna definitely dodge it. Yeah. He is just a real prick. And I am just so low level, like nothing I have is a strong attack at all. Oh. Um. Oh man, he's just He's not he's not hard. Um but I'm just making him look like he is. And also I can't see my my full character bar over there, which is making me kinda nervous. Um, so I don't even know what my health is. <laughs> but I'm going to assume it's relatively low. But we're going to go ahead and drop a new neutron bomb just to see what happens. Let's see how powerful this really is. Oh, he completely dodged it. Oh my god, backfire on me. What a, what a chump I am. Here, we'll use the uh, pot roast. Oh no! He killed me. He bested me! Actually, that's okay. That's... I'll, I'll pick up on the save point, and we will we will get him, and I will focus on beating him. But this is a great place to stop. I always like to stop at a place where I know I can't validate myself by skill. Uh, I, have, I have now failed before my audience, and you, you see that I did not beat that boss. I beat the other boss, but not the second one. But that's okay, because I'll start right back from that save point, and we will beat him. All right. So thanks for watching this video, and let me know what you guys think of this game below. If you want to see me play it more, let me know. I'd like to play through this whole game, and I'm going to make sure that this playthrough even recorded properly. But thanks for watching this video, and until next time, we'll see you real soon. Bye.